Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to model this uh, ramp. Okay, so if I go, yep, maybe go back. So this one. Okay, so it's very simple ramp, and um, and all, it looks like there's no landing at all. So it's all continuous um, ramp. Okay, so. First, uh, let's create a project. And okay, so uh, I'm going to go to the side plan. Okay, go to the side plan. Uh, go to architecture ramp. And first, we need to do some uh, settings. So go to edit type. So okay, so we need to first we need to dis uh, change this one. So maximum incline length. So this is control. Uh, this is the one to control the maximum uh, length. So you can only have. So for example, this currently is 12 meters. So which means uh, you can only have 12 meter, and then you must have a landing. Okay. So this is. Uh, so some. Uh, we need this one when sometimes we need to model. Uh, uh, if there's a, a building code. Um, yeah, but for this one. Apparently, we don't need this one, so I'm going to just set this to uh, 100 meter. Okay, and then mag ramp maximum slope. So this one, I think, uh, and also depending on the code, uh, at some slope, you don't need a landing anymore. So you just need to check check the, your low, uh, your uh, your building code. So I think um, I'm not sure. I'll just put in twenty one to twenty. Okay. So yeah, that's it. So that's uh, the setting and uh, thickness. That's okay. Yeah, that's all good. So now click OK. So and then we need what we need is this one. So. So currently we start from ground floor level, and then depending on what that uh, the top level is. So what I'm going to do is I'll just change this one. So instead of just stop at one level one, I just increase this one. So for example, uh, uh, level one with uh, maybe 10 meter offset. So, okay, so I think that's it. So now we can start to model. So let's just go to the floor uh, plan and we can see roughly. So it'll go here, so an uh, arc, and then go here, another arc. Okay, so we, we're going to just model roughly uh, this shape. So go, um, okay, so run. Okay, so first the line, and I'll just, uh, let me just have a look again. Okay, so go here so roughly so for example um, I guess maybe five meter okay and then another one so this one need so a little bit uh, curved so we need to go here so use this one center and arc okay so now we're going to just pick so see this dash line so we're going to roughly uh, pick here okay so click on here and then try to so this uh, he um this one's a little bit tricky so you won't be able to snap onto you can snap onto the this point and this point but not midpoint so even tr if we try sm you won't be able to snap onto so just eyeball this point okay so let's just roughly uh think yeah uh if you find a way to snap onto the middle point. Please let me know. I just I couldn't figure out how to. So let me just. Uh, oh, so probably because I, 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 I type S M. So let's just try again. S S. Okay, S S. So now we can roughly here. So okay. So click on here, and then so it's very weird. So we just need to rotate. Go back. Go back. So now it will start from this point. Okay, so I'll just roughly here. So now you will see this ramp start from here and then here. If I finish this one now, and you will see 
this is actually this is correct okay so now go back to side plan let's just continue so oops so select this ramp edit sketch let's continue so let's go back again so we need another straight line and so this one if we want to uh, increase you just need to drag this point so see drag this point so you can just uh, extend this one a little bit more okay so now continue straight line and this time is same again so you won't be able to snap onto exactly that point we just need to eyeball it yeah maybe just zoom out roughly here okay so yeah and then you will also see this one so you can see so this uh a little circle with the a line that's tangent to this arc okay so and also you can see this dash line blue line so we will start stop here and once again go back again so we need another arc so go back to this and so see this dash line once again oh, this time it allow us to pick that midpoint okay so now I'll stop here, straight line. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so another tangent line. Okay, so maybe here. So let's have a look again. Another, so this is a very sharp angle. So let's just also do a center and arc, but this time maybe close to this okay so close to close to this edge so we are do it start from here drag just rotate back oops uh, no this way yeah and and then here and have a look again oh maybe we need to just drag this back a little bit more and then this one here and ten, tangent so you see this uh, a little circle with a straight line so that's tangent okay so and then let's go back again another very sharp uh, so which we're going to use this one center and arc again very close to this edge so see this blue dash line and then try to try to eyeball the middle point so drag it back oh no this way and here another a line so eyeball the point and tangent that's it okay so finish and if you go to 3d view that's the ramp so i'm going to just delete this railing so you can see this okay and and also if you go or uh, check the slope it'll be 1 to 20 so you will see 50 by 1000 so uh, maybe the, maybe we need to change the the unit of this unit format so instead of have this one now use this one to ratio to um, unit 1 to okay okay yeah 1 to 20 1 to 20 yeah you will be you will have different uh, slope depending on which point you place this uh, slope uh, spot slope symbol on okay so but if it's a straight ramp it will always be 1 to 20. okay so that's it so and also you can still change the width so no problem um, yeah, I think this is the easiest way to model this. Okay, so of course, um, so you can use floor. So I'll just quickly, so if you use floor, so I just, uh, oh, I won't allow me to pick the edge. So I'll just roughly just do some, okay, so I'll just stop here. So if you use floor, you can, you can use oh sorry not this one finish so you can let me just you can do you use a uh, modify sub element okay so so if you select this floor modify sub element so you can drag this one so go up so it would do this 
Okay. Drag this up. I'll just drag 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 this edge oh yeah. Drag this edge up to match the ramp. Okay. So now if I escape and uh, if floor, I'll just move it MV move. So you will have a very similar uh, ramp but uh, using floor. Okay. Um, okay, so now uh, the, the uh, these balustrades, so solid one. So of course um, we've done this before. So I'll just quickly do it again. So just uh, the easiest way to do it is just create a profile. Okay, so go and then draw a line. Start from here. Um, actually, I forgot which one, which side uh, I need to go. But anyway, so I'll just go up one meter. Okay, so one meter, and I'll just pick a side. Okay, maybe maybe here. Okay, so and then this is it. This is the profile. So now load this back into the project, and then let's go to 3D view. First, I want to just place. So see use this one place on a stair ramp and it will automatically place two uh two railing handrail uh for you oh looks like looks like there's something uh something's not right here probably because that's you know here uh looks like there's some issue here um um that's okay uh, I'll ignore I'll ignore this part of the ramp, but I will try to place. So now maybe instead of use this, uh, I'll use a sketch path. Okay, so now I'll just manually pick all these edge, and I'll ignore this this little uh, edge, and then just continue continue. So I'll trim it. Okay, so and then finish. So now this is a, a handrail. Just pick new host, pick this ramp. So it will automatically uh, uh, match the ramp, right? And now I'm going to just select this uh, railing, edit type, duplicate. I'll just create a new one. Okay, so new solid, solid. Okay, so now what we need is first we need to remove all the ballast, balusters. Okay, so go edit. Oh, edit baluster uh, placement. So change this to now, this to now, this to now, this to now. Okay, so now uh, if I click OK, you will see ah, oh, it's all gone. And then only the top rail. So edit type here. Yeah, so top rail. So instead of have this type type which is a rectangular 50 by 50, I'll click on this little. Uh, box and then duplicate so once again new solid so okay so these are different things so this is the type of a uh, top rail and the previous one so this one is the type of railing okay okay so it's different thing so now here I just want to change the profile to so this one Okay, and also the um, I think that's all good. So yeah, you can give it a material if you wanted to. So click OK, and then height change it to zero, and OK, that's it. Okay, so uh, looks like there's some issue here still. So maybe uh, we should we we need to to fix this one. We probably need to go back to the rail. Uh, go back to the uh, ramp to try to adjust this part. Looks like there's some issue here. Uh, but um, yeah, other than that, uh, so I think it's all. Uh, maybe let's try another one. Try this side. Okay, so CS create similar. Create a pick line one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, pick new holes. Pick this. That's it. Okay. And then, so I think you can also do this to the uh, uh, railing on floor. So this is a floor with modified sub element to match that uh, ramp. So CS, but this time, uh, let, let me just cancel this. So if you use, you won't be able to use this because this is a floor, okay? You can only, so let me just show you. So you can only do ramp, 
Okay, so if it's a ramp, if it's a ramp, you can so see it or not not see it. Sorry, you can go here, use this one. So directly pick this ramp, and it will automatically create two for you. Oh, looks like um, this one need to uh, maybe just type in one hundred offset, or oh, maybe negative one hundred. Okay, so same so you can do it on a, a stairs stairs okay so finish i'll delete that and then if you if you go uh use place on stairs you can just it will automatically place two uh handrail for you but you won't be able to do it on floor so you need to you need to create a by path okay so path Pick line, you can pick the floor. Let, let me just try to uh, want let, let me to uh, uh, create all all the edges just using tab. So we need to manually pick all this and once down finish, and then you just pick new holes, pick the floor. Okay, same. Let's just try again. CS pick line one, two, three, four, five. Finish. Pick new host, pick the floor. Okay, so that's it. Um, yeah, I think let's have a look again. So looks like uh, so see this. So at the entrance and the you know exit. So it looks like the shape is slightly different. So for using if you're using ramp, you can still so see you can edit and then you can adjust the shape of this by yourself so for example um you can use so this blue uh this green line is the boundary okay so we can do this so click on the boundary so draw a uh, arc maybe i start from here finish maybe here and then or just roughly okay so and trim it and trim this one and i'll just select this one mm mirror and the trim tr tr so finish. So if you want to, you know, have different shape, you can do this. And also, of course, you can just edit path, pick this one, pick this one, trim, tr, finish it. Okay. So um, that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you.